Okay, we well were going to do a how to put it together video, but to be fair, Air Chamber has a really good two minute video that shows you much better than we could in probably 10 minutes. So, uh, refer to the Air Chamber video uh, for how to put it together. What I can say is it's very simple to put together. Uh, my wife and I did this in probably, to be fair, a little bit of time just, you know, getting um, organized. And if you follow the instructions on the Air Chamber video, to the T, which we didn't initially. Um, <laughs> so put your bottom sections in first, top sections, and then just join yourself all around. Uh, we, we tried to sort of do the front and back first, which look, that worked all right, but I can see why they do what they do. Uh, just keep in mind that what we did, just for some temporaries, um, we put a string between here and here to actually hold up our four corners, which, um, you know, some people won't have the four corners to be able to do that with, but um, it, look, you know, it just sort of saved us losing air. Um, uh, we might have pumped a bit of air through the fan. Uh, when we lost a bit of air, we um, <laughs> we got one of these, to be fair, and um, you can basically help yourself along with your fan going and pull a blower. Now, I don't know if that's recommended by the manufacturer, but I will say this. Um, when you lose a whole lot of air very fast um, through get, getting in and out of it um, when you haven't got the frame up um, and we didn't have the ropes at the time <laughs> um, definitely better to be able to pump it up a little bit faster but look what they say is walk away from it for 20-30 minutes and yes it'll be it'll look like this uh, if you've got it sealed up without the frame it will just look a little, a little more bloated but we've actually seen it like that and uh, uh, without the frame so so this would self support without the frame if it just had the air running through it no question so okay so we've got a GT4 Porsche in there now what I like about this versus the Carcoon which as many of you know we've had the Carcoon before um, great thing about this here two zips bang I'm in the side two zips on the front velcro on the bottom pretty much I can back the car out and Put it all back together again very very simply doesn't take long to uh to uh, to get it all sort of in and out which you know that the non-framed carcoon that was my biggest uh issue apart from the fact that you literally had to drag the thing over the top of the roof now as i mentioned before carcoon now uh you know have a frame model so that's you know i don't want to be unfair about this either but i particularly like the air chamber model because of this side door access it allows me to have a smaller footprint and I only have to open the side up when I want to get the, you know, the car in and out but I'm actually using a much smaller footprint by doing it um, in, in width and uh, you know it's, it's just um, and people might, may say oh you're probably only saving a few hundred mil but no it's it's worth it it's um, just sort of makes it makes the American barn here not look too claustrophobic you know as you're walking around um, now I probably could have taken it back a little bit further we elected to um, to not go that far back. Uh, the reason is sometimes we'll get a little bit of a dribble of water in the first um, sort of 100 mil of the roller door uh, at times. It, it'll just seep through a little bit if we get a really bad rain. So we just wanted to bring it further forward. Uh, but we still ended up with a reasonable sort of access once I get all this junk out the way. Uh, all this is going and pretty much this will be the whole surround area. We'll be just committed to the GT4 Porsche and the um, air chamber. So, www.airchamber.com.au, brilliant crowd to work with, absolutely, just um, can't say enough good things about them. I think the biggest thing that um, they've got going for them is their uh, customer support. If you've got a question, if you've got anything, um, it, you know, it's just they really are there for you and you'll, uh, you'll find they support you 100%. Uh, and by the way, I've gone a little bit larger. As you can see, I'm fairly well up the front here, and I've got a fair bit of room on the back. And the reason for that was that I wanted something that if we change things around and knock things around a bit, uh, even if I bought another one of these, I'd buy it the same size. I, it just allows for a slightly bigger car to fit into it. We had the space, so it just seemed like the, uh, the right thing to do. Uh, now, this is my first entry. I probably could have actually not come in quite as far um, I probably need to put a little wheel stop down here because I'm, I'm, I'm okay here. We're, you know, we're not touching anything, but, um, but yeah, we've, we've certainly taken up every bit of last bit of space. All right, fantastic. 
very nice product couldn't say uh, that I've got any negatives um, it comes shipped in a really good sized box which we showed you before and um, and you'll find a lot of these wrinkles um, we found with the other one they just sort of they sort out over the next few days as they sit around uh, everything sort of starts to find its own spot and um, I, I do like the two zips and the velcro I just um, the, the zips believe it or not they're not your friend at times um, when you've got to drive over them I've had that problem before so I, th I think they might have you know really done something pretty smart and I like the fact that it's totally see-through all the way around so no matter what angle you're looking at you're sort of looking at the car that you love or uh, in my case, love, yeah. <laughs> I do love this one. Nice one. Anyway, still haven't taken it for a drive yet. Um, life has been a little bit um, terrible time-wise. And, um, and I've only just taken the top layer of dust off it um, just earlier. And we'll, um, we'll, we'll get into it. Uh, hopefully, this weekend, we'll get to take it out somewhere and give it a bit of a run. But, uh, but is it everything I expected? Ah, oh, look, and more, and more. Um, I, I can tell you I've sat in it for 20 minutes and played with all the controls, so there you go. Alright, all the best to you. Hope you like the uh, air chamber. I'm, I'm obviously a, a big fan uh, as a user. And, um, and that's the thing, I, I kind of like to look at products even myself where people are able to tell me, you know, they've used it. It, it just helps. I've, a lot of people have got attitudes about different things, but they've never owned anything in their life, you know. And, you see this a lot on Facebook, which drives me mental. I think, mate, you know, seriously, get a life, own something, then comment on it. You know, so it's, um, it helps us a bit when we're trying to decide what we're going to be doing, you know, with our own um, purchases too, if, if you've actually owned something. Um, but, but look, the GT4 is a good example. Spoke to a number of GT4 owners, um, did the same with the Mustang out there. You know, you talk to people that own them, get good opinions. The air chamber, same thing. Uh, a lot of satisfied customers with the air chamber, so uh, I think um, if you end up buying one of those, uh, you'll be really satisfied. All the best. Cheers.